really can't fart right now. Hi, I'm Garrett. And I'm Nikki. We're fascinated by how other people live. So we're gonna try and find some really interesting living situations. And live there, experiencing a totally different lifestyle. To see which ones will bring us closer together. Or push us further apart. This week, we're living in an Earth ship. It's like a friendship, but made out of Earth instead of friends. Hi, my name is Michael Reynolds. We have a company called Earthship Biotecture and we are developing sustainable, off-grid, uh, independent, autonomous buildings all over the world. I've been working in this direction for almost 50 years. Hey guys, Hi. welcome to Earthship Biotecture. My name is Ryan. Hey Ryan, Hi. I'm Garrett. Thank you. Garrett. This is an Earthship. This is an Earthship. Earthships. I don't know what that word even really means. It sounds a little highfalutin and hippy-dippy. Earthship makes it sound like a group of aliens landed on Earth and decided to like blend in with humans. It looks like it's gonna be the nicest house Nikki and I have stayed in to date. I'm really excited about that. But why are all these places in the desert? Every human has to address six issues. One is comfortable shelter that doesn't use fossil fuel. One is electricity, water, something to do with their sewage, food. And all humans these days produce garbage and whether we like it or not, we have to come up with something to do with it. So we have made a vessel that we call the Earthship that addresses all six of those points. And here we are. Whoa, it's warm in here. Oh my gosh, there's a garage with like plants in it. Plants, power system, gray water system. The gray water system is gonna take care of the water that comes from the sink of the showers. It goes into the planters, taking it through a filter and running it to the toilet. So before it even gets out there, it's been used like three times, Correct. basically. Wow, what are these? This is uh, for ventilation. Whoa! Now you're exchanging the air, you're cooling the space down. This is your thermostat. Apparently you have to help your house breathe, which is an interesting thing that I've never thought about. It's very practical in like, I think they grow their own vegetables and know how to like reuse their water. Notice the solar panels that line the front of the building. Uh huh. Those are coming into the charge controller that's taking all the sunshine, going through the algorithms, turning it into power. So it's all solar. Correct, all solar. This is a very efficient house and we're only in the garage. I'm really excited to have something that actually resembles a house and doesn't have any sort of like labor associated with it. It sounds like we'll learn a little bit about how this house is new and futuristic, but also like we will enjoy creature comforts. We do have a flat screen TV there. We have Wi-Fi. So we're trying to gear it towards people that aren't familiar with their ships and then they come into one and they're like, oh, it's built out of tires and bottles and cans and <laughs> all sorts of repurposed materials. And this is a full kitchen. A full kitchen as well, yes. This is gorgeous too, my goodness. Yeah, copper countertops, custom built cabinetry, so that's all built on site. So people are supposed to be able to build their own Earthship. That's pretty cool. As somebody who likes to build stuff, I'd love to learn about how they've built these Earthships. I don't really have a desire to build my own home. In my relationship, I'm not the crafty one. I'm the more let's play video games and eat at great restaurants. So the master bedroom is down here to the left. Oh my gosh, this is enormous. Look at all the closets. Closets, closets, closets. In the bathroom, we have towels laid out for you, shampoo, shower gel, conditioner. Look at this. Oh my gosh. That's it's gorgeous. like stone shower. We'll have to work on adjustable shower heads. Yeah. <laughs> I can see all the way to the mountains though, over yeah. the shower curtain, so I'm showering looking at the mountains. <laughs> oh no, I just kicked this thing over. <gasps> Did he just break that? He can. Fix it. And right? we got it on camera too, so. Yeah. <laughs> that was, that was gonna... definitely his fault. Oh, well, shoot. I'm a little nervous that because we don't have any like activities, we're gonna go stir crazy. We'll probably bump heads again because I'm not sure there's a whole lot to do in this desert. How many Earth ships are here right now? About 76, we'll say 77 with that one. And I'd say at least 50 of them are permanent residences. Wow. The thrill in life for us is seeing more and more people have a life. We're sitting here in a building that's not hooked up to any grid, has food growing, doesn't even have a heater of any kind in it. This is available to the world, and this could change the world. That's so cool. It's fun. It's, uh, like I said, it's a lot of work, but I'm building my freedom. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, thank thanks you so, so much. We're so excited, yeah. yeah. Thanks a lot, this Ryan. Oh, of course. That's great. Let's go. This is exciting. This is like the most beautiful house we've lived in. Sorry, everybody else. <laughs> I feel like you should take the master bedroom because you broke the bathroom. <sighs> All right. So I'm gonna take this one. Okay, have fun. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, look at all the space. My broken shower. I don't know how I'm gonna fix that. Well, we'll worry about that later. I don't like that skinny cat one bit. I'm gonna go take it to Nikki's room. She likes cats. You can't just rearrange decor, but fine. I will gladly accept this cat. 
Thank you. Isn't this a great view to wake up to? Yeah. I think we're gonna be very comfortable here. I think so too. Bam. Look at how much space there is. This place is huge. And I can stand all the way over here and Garrett can be all the way over there. This is by far the nicest place we've stayed in. We've got all these plants and lemongrass. Everything smells amazing and alive, even though it's December in the middle of the desert. Hopefully we remember to do all the things we're supposed to do to take care of the earth ship. Cause it's like a leaving, breathing thing. We're literally in a house of recycled garbage but and you cannot tell. It's still so much nicer than my house in Los Angeles. <laughs> so there are all these windows and things that we have opening and closing. I know there's a combination that will make us freeze to death. Hopefully we haven't gotten Wait, that. really? I know out there is just the greenhouse because I can't see through it because it's dark. All I see is myself. It makes me feel like someone's there. It's nighttime. Nikki and I are both working. Tomorrow we're gonna learn a lot more about how to actually build it. This is fascinating. I don't know how it all works, but it's amazing that it does and I'm very happy to be here. Good night, Nikki. Good night. Are you comfortable? Mm -hmm. Oh wow, you open that door and I just Is it too smell cold? everything. Doesn't it smell amazing? Plants! And there's that demon cat. <laughs> it's not a demon. Don't say that. <sighs> it's very bright in my room. I didn't even need my alarm. Hello. Morning. <laughs> I'm showering. Still a little low, but not bad. Nikki. Huh? Let's make food. Oh, yeah. Yes. Avocado toast. Wouldn't it be cool if we were growing avocados out there and then we would just be like, Boop. I think that's like, that's the goal, the goal right? right? I'd love for that to happen. Cheers. Breakfast in our home. That's probably the best ones we've made, too. It's like 20 degrees outside, but we need to. 80 degrees in here. Oh, I just got water all over me. It's hot. It's like the full power of the sun. Yeah, I can see why we can grow bananas in here. I'm not a banana. Here we are at the Great World Earthship Community and we are working on a house under construction today. Sounds like you want to do some adobe plaster. It's so dry here in the desert, but this dirt is pretty much 100% clay. So we're going to sift all the rocks and all the big stuff out and make, get more fine. Have you done much shoveling, Nikki? No. Never had to like hide a body or anything? No. Have you? No. This will be the adobe mixer. Let's start with about half a bucket of water. Now we're going to put in two full buckets of sand. It's like making cookies. Oh, a dog. Oh, two dogs. I think initially you all may want to kind of slap and smear. Every wall surface is finished, you know, is done like this. Ugh. Yeah, you're gonna slap and smear it up. Oh my gosh, it's like building a sand castle. All right, okay. Yeah, you're getting better? I'm getting, making progress. Well, we're doing a pretty bad job, but um, we're learning. It's very satisfying, like literally filling up holes. Special edition construction, Nikki, comes with a hawk, a trawl, and a winning attitude. <laughs> I'm feeling a lot more confident with the trawl, so it's like a skill I've just picked up. Until about two hours ago, I had no idea what Adobe was or how people used it, but now I've mixed it and I've laid it. I have helped build a tiny piece of this hall. I think it looks great. Really? Yeah. Great. Nice work. Yeah, I paid the price for it. Yeah, yeah what happened? I don't know. Thanks, Phil. Anytime. Good luck, good luck with the rest of this wall. Yeah, I don't know what we'll do without you. <laughs> so what do we have here? Uh, so we're at the Phoenix Earthship, and this is where Mike took the concept of the Earthships and went wild with it and made it really eccentric and uh, a lot of artistic details in this building. This direction puts power to the people. It empowers them to take their energy from the sun. It's right there. It's free. People should have the right to encounter the natural phenomena of this planet to sustain themselves. Man, this is like a like a jungle maze. Right, so this is actually where the gray water starts from the sink of the shower in the bathroom. I hear birds? There's birds. There's birds? There's birds, two cockatiels and two parakeets. This is straight out of some like This is a Zelda fantasy. level. Is this a TV? Yes, sir. 
We haven't even gone out into like the greenhouse part of it. You can't argue with bananas in your living room in the winter. You can't argue with the sun heating your house. These things can be machines. So there's a long way to go. So the house is about 5,300 square feet and about 2,000 of that is greenhouse space. There really is no limit to what you can create. Right, and we're just scratching the surface of what's possible. We're going to Puerto Rico in a month because their power is down, their water's down, their infrastructure's down. This building has its own infrastructure. We're going to build a building that cannot be blown away by any hurricane. Like living in a house can be exciting and ever changing. It grows with you. You take care of it, and it takes care of you. Yeah. This concept is a way to stay alive longer. So after work today, we found that our rental car had some trouble with the tires. So Garrett had to drive it into town and get it sorted out. He's not gonna be back for another like two hours. So I started cooking dinner. So I'm gonna pick a few sprigs. Oh, it smells so good. I'll put that in my pasta sauce. Apples for Garrett when he gets done. So keep it warm for him. Like I had to go drive that and then drive it back. At the end, I was just really exhausted. Four and a half hours later, here we are. Here you go. Thank you, Nikki. Oh, God, there's more over there also, there's salad. Today's been really fun. I'm very fascinated by Earth ships. We got to see another Earth ship today, which was beyond anything I could comprehend. Phoenix is like something out of a sci-fi movie. And I can't imagine what it would be like to complete your own Earth ship. It's very simple in practice, but also a lot of hard work. That's got to be an amazing accomplishment. Good morning, plants. Good morning, Earthship. Good morning. We did it. We lived in an Earthship. It was so much more comfortable than I thought it would be, especially since it's made out of garbage. Because this is such a comfortable house to live in, it's been very easy for Garrett and I to be roommates. Not a house can breathe. <sighs> this is like the first time where I'm walking away thinking, oh yeah, I'd maybe like to take some of these principles and apply them to my own house someday. This is the Earthship Village Ecologies, Eve. This is what we're trying to basically get an Earthship apartment style complex going. So oh. we have people living together, working together towards uh, building a better future as far as the homes, but also growing food together, living together, and just sharing the space and coming up with a better way for the future. That's Kale. <laughs> like, I think when people think about sustainable living that's very good for the earth, they think that they have to relinquish some comfort. And we did not. The idea of building my own earth ship sounds so much fun that like, maybe even when I retire, that's what I'll do. I'll just build earth ships. Like I can make showers that'll fit me. Everything that I've learned here makes me so excited to think about the possibilities of earth ships and what could be next. Bye earth Earthship. Bye earth ship. Next week on Home Buddies. Welcome to our mansion. We're finally going to a mansion. This is my Richie Rich moment. This mansion's so big, it's like the American dream, right? This is the lifestyle that everyone wants to experience. This is it.